Hey everybody, so as you know, my name is Kianti Ashe and this is Blue Aura Healing Guidance and Tarot. This is going to be a reading for our Divine Feminines, alright, so all of our DF, Empress, High Priestess, Energy only. If you in any way at all identify as a Divine Masculine Hunty, you can go ahead and get at because this reading right now is not for you, alright? Please do keep in mind, guys, that when we say Feminine Masculine, it's technically based on what your signs are or what um astrological signs or zodiac signs you have throughout your chart mostly okay that's honestly what it what it boils down to honestly okay people can tell you whatever they want to tell you sweetheart but that's what it boils down to when we're talking about the energies what is mostly feminine what is mostly masculine what you mostly resonate with okay as far as your personality and different things like that based on those things okay so let us see what the messages are that Spirit has here for Jewel on today, all right? If I say ladies, I'm speaking to the ladies who resonate, okay? But you take it as it resonates with you. That's just how I do it. I do how I do it, okay? But I know my skill very well. Manifesting miracles, okay? Your dream is soon to become reality. Trust your heart and continue to follow its guidance, okay? Trust your heart and continue to follow its guidance. Acceptance is the key to inner peace. At times, we must accept things as they are. There is no point trying to change that which is beyond our control. All right. So some of you may have realized that, you know, there's something going on with you and your person right now. You would prefer it to be a different way. However, I feel like it's about to be exactly what you're wanting. You're about to receive. You just need to continue to follow your heart, okay? That's what I'm getting, yeah. We have new beginning, a new adventure awaits. Embrace it and live your dreams passionately, all right? The underlying energy here of this deck is surrender. At times, we must surrender the old before something new can enter our lives. Let go and all will work out. I've been saying that. Now, whether that be let go of your need to control the situation you say well, what, what do you mean by that blue well the timeline i want it to happen right now and i want it to happen right now well god doesn't want it to happen right now god said it's not time for it to happen right now whatever's going on in this moment is meant to be happening in this moment so embrace it okay whatever phase whatever portion of your journey you're on embrace it you know easier said than done i get it but there's always something to appreciate and enjoy about the moment you're in right now. You know what I mean? Also, yeah, see, we're waiting for it before we even shuffle. Also, I feel like, I don't know, you just like raise your vibration, align your chakras, get your mind, your soul, all that together. You know, in the meanwhile, get your knowledge up raise your awareness on different things become more of an activist in the community there's so many things you can do you know um become an advocate or a voice for other women okay moms you know be more into your children do more things with your children you know be more hands-on and active like there's so many other things that you can do besides sit around and just be like oh masculine 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 all the time you get what i'm saying so that's where blue be coming from also for some of you you're releasing um karmic energies and welcoming in your masculine energy okay there are karmics who are trying to keep you stuck these people want to come along with you why girl boy i don't know you know, because they don't have nothing else going on because they want to <laughs> stay attached to the energy that you give, but they're not giving you anything, okay? That's how you know. If a relationship is one-sided, dead it, okay? A relationship is reciprocal. You're getting something back from it. Amazing. And I'm just saying, like, it doesn't have to be something tangible, speaking of money or anything like that. You know what I mean? But you make them happy, they give you peace or something. You know what I mean? Y'all be laughing. Like, something like that, you know? Your batteries feel charged when you're around them or after you have dealt with them. Amazing. You feel drained. Run. You get what I'm saying? So just recognize those type of signs. Okay. Your spirit is speaking to you. We have healing family issues. Okay. Your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. Okay. So a lot of um, healing going on here, like inner child healing. Okay. Reparenting yourself. Or this could be your person. Okay. But it says great love is worth taking the steps you are guided to take. This person is continually guided back toward you. Okay. 
worth waiting for all right it's almost like you are marked okay <laughs> it sounds crazy but it's almost like you are marked for this person it's like they know exactly how to find you no matter where in the world you are because you're for them or something it's like uh, uh. yeah call it in your soulmate it's like you're marked or your soul is marked so they can find you no matter where okay something like that going on your prayers affirmations and visualizations help bring you together now it's cleansed it's not like it's saying you know there are stains on it the stains are removed by god amen but i'm not talking about that i'm talking about this person being in this energy of <sighs> it's not an imprint either because that's a completely different thing it's not an imprint either this is um it's not the red string of fate it's like a a specific code within your dna or you know how like the the microchips is something like that but it's something within your dna all right that connects you and your person as to where this is how they can find you no matter where in the world you are no matter what in the world you're doing different things like that so even if you don't know who this person is and you're like well what if i move how i'm gonna find them that's exactly where you're gonna find them or that's exactly where he'll find you you know whatever you want to call it right getting to know each other as you reveal your innermost selves to each other your bond deepens okay so getting to know each other on a deeper level the deepest levels possible let your friends help you ask for and accept support from others either you or this person is not really used to opening up too much but with the other one it feels comfortable it feels right it's something about it that feels easy you know like maybe it's not so easy to discuss certain things with other people but when it comes to each other both of you feel more than comfortable with sharing your, your like deepest, darkest secrets, you know? So let us see. I feel like either you or your person has been trying to hide feelings for a really long time. And it could be because of, you know, just being uncomfortable, right? Being uncomfortable with a certain level of vulnerability initially due to sorting through certain things like abandonment rejection neglect different things like that dealing with narcissists okay being in one-sided relationships different things like that like i said you're separating yourself from people like that you know and manifesting the things that you desire that's what i see coming in here for you with the golden mirror separation abundance because said someone can't stop thinking about you or something they said or did to you okay they feel like it was very foul it was messed up they shouldn't have done it it's what caused the separation between the two of you okay i'm also feeling for some of you you need to get someone out like that sounds harsh but that's the way the spirit is saying it's like um there's a snake all right this could be that karmic that i keep telling you guys that you're letting go of there's a snake that you're letting go of okay you're removing yourself from your grass is low you hear that outside cutting grass your grass is low you can see the snake you know who it is for some of you could be family member could be somebody you thought was friend doesn't matter you're looking at a situation and you're saying i know exactly who and what i need to remove from my life right now from my energy right now so that i can manifest the things that i want all right and while you're doing this you have people that are you know these people you're letting go of that are watching you okay recording your steps you know like taking note of what it is that you're doing how you're doing it different things like that okay um this could be so that they can look for some sort of pattern okay that to me is like a devil type of thing to do like you know low vibration um they don't know you they're just trying to find out your pattern so that they can somehow some way disturb something you have going on but spirit is like once you shift your way of thinking you no longer resonate with certain energies anymore anyway so they're naturally those relationships are naturally going to fall off so they can watch you as much as they want to watch you you know they can plot as much as they want to plot it wouldn't change anything yeah so it's like it's someone or people who are heartbroken because you're happy or who are going to be miserable because you're happy like your happiness and joy is, is you know sadness and misery for someone else when someone else thinks that you're miserable oh yeah, all of a sudden they are happy as hell you get what i'm saying or something like that so you continuing to be happy is really really getting to this person whoever they are all right but when it comes to your twin like i said i feel like this is one of the things that you or they are releasing you know this type of energy 
certain things and people can't change, won't change, you know. They're a snake, they're gonna be a snake, that's just what it is, kind of thing. Just keep the grass low, that's what I'm getting. You know, just keep the grass low. We have Knight of Swords, somebody's coming towards you quickly, King of Pentacles. All right, this person wants you to know, yeah, Six of Swords. They could be at a distance from you right now, but they're coming towards you quickly, okay? This is smoothing something out. This person wants to make something right with you. Six of Cups, you know, they have a lot of memories of you. They're very sad, yearning for you, okay? Missing you. Wanting to know what the future holds for the both of you, okay? Eight of Swords, this is something that they think a lot about. What does the future hold for me and this person? Okay, we have an eight of wands, communication, back and forth, communication, and then back and forth travel as well. And then the queen of wands, all right? So this person feels like they'll go back and forth travel for you. This is someone that maybe you have been going back and forth traveling with or to and from, all right? Um, building a relationship with this person. You are falling in love with this person or they have fallen in love with you or both. All right, but the two of you feel like, yeah, a page of cups, let's start something new, let's start something fresh, justice, wanting to make something right. So this could be them wanting to make something right with you, you wanting to make something right with them, either way it goes, manifesting miracles, you're pulling in exactly what you want to pull in, okay? So again, letting go of certain energies, people, things, or whatever that you need to let go of, outdated thinking and all that. We have a king of cups. So like I said, the both of you, you have fallen in love with them, they have fallen in love with you. All right, we have the Ace of Cups and the Ten of Pentacles. Yeah, this person can see a future with you. All right. They want to make this offer to you. Have a brand new beginning, a fresh start. And build this up. You know, these are the grandchildren running around. You know, hey, look, look at all our grands, our great grands and them. Ha <laughs> ha. All because we decided to love each other however many years ago. You know, <clears throat> when you say decided to love each other, yes, love is a choice because you can love someone, but to what extent, <laughs> to what capacity are you loving this person? You got the two of cups. Are you willing to be hand in hand no matter what throughout life? And I feel like that's the type of love that you're manifesting. All right. You and this person being hand in hand throughout life. Knight of cups, this person is deading whatever else was going on. If they were like dating or courting or whatever. They're dead in that, you know, because they're like, okay, I found the person that I'm interested in or I found the one that I want. This is piggybacking off of last night where I said, you know, they're going to take you on a date. You're going to get to know each other. And instantly they're going to be up. Like, oh, I can see something with this person. Yeah. Five of swords. Now, for some of you, not all of you, for some of you, this could be like your twin. You and them been in separation for a minute. You've been single, independent, building yourself up. Like I said, you know, aligning your chakras, getting your energy, mental emotional bodies physical bodies all that together right you're looking good feeling good smelling good okay and here they come wanting to stand up and fight for the connection because they're like oh my divine feminine maybe they weren't able to truly see you before because you didn't truly see yourself all right we talked about that before as well so yeah now they want to reunite okay now that's for some of you not all of you that three of cups could just simply be going out having a good time friendship that warms into love because you say oh you know what this feels a lot more than platonic you get what i'm saying this feels a lot more than platonic all right we got the four of swords four of swords is peace of mind the chariot ascension leveling up moving forward this could also be uh, rest okay so i'm getting something about like uh taking a nap together or something like that okay so this is like baby steps you know what i mean baby steps you know King of Wands, Queen of Wands, King of Cups, Queen of Cups, okay, King of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles, you know how y'all do, all right, matching up with your person through and through the whole way, you know, I just feel like there's going to be long-term commitment, steady relationship and partnership here with you and your person, sometimes they feel blocked out, you know, sometimes they feel like you don't necessarily open up or show all of your emotions, or this could be you, all right? But Ace of Wands is somebody taking things into their own hands, saying Nine of Wands, I don't want this person to put up this wall, this barrier, this whatever this is between us. So I'm gonna say something, I'm gonna do something, okay? Yeah, I'm feeling this energy here where 
I just heard something about they want to see you smile. They want to be the reason you smile or something. And then the Queen of Pentacles comes out smiling. That is hilarious. So you may be someone that works all the time coming out with the Eight of Pentacles and the Queen of Pentacles. You work a lot. Okay, so let's just think about anything that has long shifts. You know, um, nurses, they have long, crazy, wild shifts. You know, beauticians, all right, um, any sort of entrepreneur, you create your own hours, you're always working, you know, that's something I understand very well. You know, any content creators, influencers, anything that you could possibly be doing, honestly, you just work a lot, okay? It doesn't matter if you was doing something as simple as retail, child, because retail is not simple, child. Let people think it is, it's not. Um, but you know, it could be anything. You just work a lot. Double shifts, triple shifts, quadruple shifts, okay? Some of you may be teachers, lawyers, doctors, okay? Librarians, okay? You could be anything, but it's just the fact that you work a lot okay and this person wants to make you smile um <laughs> this person may feel like you have everything that you need you have everything that you want and that may be so but they still want to give you things they still want to do things for you they still want to make you smile make you happy yeah the magician okay so this person they're calling you in Okay, they're calling you in. What is this Eight of Swords? What's on this person's mind? Uh-huh, as soon as I said that, what's on this person's mind? The High Priestess, the Lover, you. They're Divine Feminine. Eight of Swords. Four of Pentacles. They may not tell you how often you're on their mind. Yeah, the Hermit. They don't tell you how often you're on their mind, but this is you're always on their mind. I mean, all the time. Okay, Five of Swords. Their biggest fear and concern is if I don't say something to you immediately, I lose you to someone else. But with the Queen of Cups here, you love them with your heart. Four of Wands, you're looking forward to coming into union. Three of uh, Cups, reuniting with your person. Not only are you lovers, but you're friends. So you look forward to this reunion, what it feels like. Okay, Five of Swords here. Let us see. Five of Swords, Five of Swords. Okay, Seven of Swords. So Seven of Swords is like lying. Someone feels like due to lying you know they lost you or due to them um involving outside interference or something like that and this is again for some of you not all of you for them involving outside interference some of you could have had child children with them they could have allowed the opinions of other people to get in the mix of what y'all had going on you know seven of swords a lot of deception a lot of creeping just things that, again, caused them to lose you. Because when certain things got back to you, you weren't off it. You weren't about to deal with it. And that's just not what you was doing, you know. Um, and so I feel this energy here where Six of Cups, now this is something they keep thinking about. Like I said with the cassette, okay. So, again, we got two different energies coming into the reading. Or it could be the same person altogether. This could be someone that, you know, had narcissistic tendencies and only thought about themselves. And they caused the two of you to separate. Now, you've manifested this person coming back, but with Cassette, it may not seem like they've changed much. Um, it may seem like they still have a lot of the same um, old habits, you know, like old habits die hard type shit. Like, it's just taking forever for some things that they do to, to die off. Like, if they lying, you just feel like they always going to be lying. You know what I mean? Um, if they be out here creeping, you just feel like they always going to be creeping. Just different stuff like that. Okay. All right. So, you know, but with the high priestess, it's like you intuitively know that certain things, like this person loves you, but you also know that you can't trust them like that or something like that. Like you always going to have to look over your shoulder. Or there's always going to be competition. There's always going to be other people that they're dealing with or it's something like that going on. So it's something like learning from the past. You know, if a person always does the same thing, they're going to continue to do the same thing. You get what I'm saying? And, and in that essence, calling in your soulmate would be like, okay, well, later for the twin flame, because the twin flame can't get right, we're going to go and call in a soulmate. You get what I'm saying? Or this could literally be releasing the, you know, snakes and karmic energies, you know, take it as it resonates with you and manifesting your twin flame soulmate. Right, your twin flame soulmate having experienced a lot of grief as well. Liars, cheaters, people who are in secret competition with them, people who have the crabs in a barrel type mentality, all that shit too. 
but they continue to build themselves up. Your person may admire that about you. Despite the things that you've gone through, yeah, you still manage to pull it all together. Because Three of Pentacles, if we're not talking about working with other people, it's just us having all the necessary skills within ourselves to be able to get something done. But when we're reading love readings, the way that Blue always associated is, you know, working together, cooperating, collaboration, and just in general, you know, if we're talking about just regular, not talking about love, it's working with two or more other people coming together. You bring what you got, they got what they have, your skills and what you know how to do, et cetera, their know-how and making it something better. You know what I mean? So with the Queen of Swords, yeah, they really admire your strength. They admire the way that your mind works, the way that you put your logic above your emotions. So yes, you love them, but in the event that you see that something is not changing or again, something is outside of your control, you're just going to release it. We have the Four of Wands. Four of Wands is union. This is what they want. They want to come into Twin Flame Union with you, but they also know that that requires them uh, like letting go of certain things and people that they need to let go of. Okay, so if they're not ready to do that, well. <laughs> mm. That I heard my son. Everything pauses when I thought I heard my children, or I think I hear my children. Third chakra, beliefs and structure. Okay, so we're talking about our solar. All right, beliefs and structure. Okay, I know who that was. Spleen Meridian, thoughts and energy distribution. Okay, yeah, what you believe, you can achieve. What you think, you attract. So, what you think, speak, and feel, you attract. So, just be mindful of that, all right? Yeah, summoning forces and manipulating form. So again, yeah, they might have had some. <laughs> it's gonna sound crazy. They might have had some uh, some um, narcissistic tendencies, but I feel like a divine feminine. You're you're. It's something about what you're doing with the energy. You're manipulating it as to where it's working for you, not against you. All right, future and residency. So it's like you're making your future be a certain type of way because you say so, because you speak it into existence, because you believe it. You get what I'm saying? So the person, the the who, the when, and the how are totally irrelevant, right? We're talking about the energy, the life. That's what you're manifesting, all right? So yeah, 12th chakra, see? Ethereal and unique to you, okay? Ethereal and unique to you. So it's going to be the best possible outcome for you. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah, kidney meridian, meridian, excuse me, ancestry and willpower, exactly. So if anybody ever thought, that's the thing about the karmics, they always swear up and down something. No, your willpower is very much so intact. You know what you're doing, all right? I feel like you're gathering the necessary information so you can make, yeah, see, river waves of energy. So you can make the necessary adjustments because you're manipulating energy right now, okay? AKA transmuting it, making it work for you, not against you. Yeah, see? <laughs> Deflecting negativity and transmitting positivity. Blue can't make it up. All right. Can't make it up. You know, it might be your twin, but they're like that because the way that they were raised. Or they're like that because the people that were around them or something like that. You know, they, they it's a defense mechanism, something. I'm not saying you have to make excuses for a person, but if you know you can <laughs> transmute that energy, then transmute it. Yeah, first chakra, okay? Safety and security. So, yeah, whatever this is that's coming in, you're going to feel good about it. Safety and higher consciousness. Heart meridian, all right? Yeah, something that is the best possible outcome for you, all right? So, I pray that this helps you. I know that it will. If this was your reading or you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up. And if you have not already, go ahead and subscribe. Peace and have